And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure it's a like button. Be sure to subscribe button. So we're going to be doing the quest where hope is built. And we're going to try to focus our way onto these quests to have the golden bird in the middle. And then we'll try to mix it up with some you know, random quests. So apparently you need to talk to pretty much every single NPC you encounter in this game in order to get side quests. Don't just rely on, the on these little... Uh, like screens, like these little consoles that you can, you know, get quests from. You can get quests from talking to NPCs. It's just a royal pain of finding the right NPC to talk to. Anyways, let's get to playing some more Starfield.
interior of this ship comforting. you. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the Grand Tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting.
We need to find out. I am always... We will speak again. I am sure. We need to find Aaron. If there's anything you need... Goodbye. For now. I don't want to hear any complaints. Runs what are you looking for? An eye on your valuables if you can't protect your own. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We 
Look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you here. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm -hmm. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found, and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. You certainly seem to have taken a liking to this man. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo holder. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. 
I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. I'm glad we understand one another. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hall. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? We'd be dust except for the factory. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Cool, you guys get to see Neon, where I got to go back and forth from my main outpost, filling up my cargo ship with random crap that was crafted into something, then sell it. We're not going to go exactly to every shop, but you get an idea of me going from main outpost to Neon City, from Neon City back to the main outpost. Some would say this place represents all the worst evils of the human you get there. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Element in combating some of the settled systems' most dangerous threats. It would seem the mercenary company known as Ecliptic is now one of those threats. Want to challenge your instincts and hope about care who you work for you can't just oh you're the rookie aren't you the one and only well the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship truth is a lot of stolen goods flow through here but this city is real good at keeping its secrets even from us about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. You should take his words to heart. Good. 
Consider whether your obligation to the Rangers outweighs whatever may usually pass for justice in Neon. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. This is Neon. There are no guarantees, and who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. Talk to him or don't, it's your call. Come on. Pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in the Kiel City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, They'd be gunned down without a moment. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. A second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones, people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Factory? <laughs> Damn, that's pretty impressive. Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in Neon has a price. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There's something you can do for me. If you ask me, there are better uses for credits. I can help you, but right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? 
Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. An all too familiar story in this city. Yeah, but I never thought I'd be part of one of those stories. Did my best to stay out of trouble, but... <sighs> found me anyway. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tang with me. After a while, you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. Private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, this will get you in. Something I can do for you, friend. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Ah, oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I do not find that very amusing. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Well, in that case, I'll consider the matter closed. You can tell Mr. Clayton he'll have no further trouble from me. As for you, well, I'm aware the Rangers have a reputation for goodness and nobility, but I'm surprised all the same.
Bedside's a bad place for tourists these days. Did you talk to Goodman? You... You paid the whole thing off? That's... A lot more than I was expecting. Thank you. I get the feeling you got other sources of income besides what you make as a deputy. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Still can't believe you did that. Star Ranger, and he's... what are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Fine, yes. I jacked the ship. But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship, I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. That's unfortunate. But I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It... It's not that simple. I don't like people threatening me. Sorry, but... Look, I'd like to help, but... I guess if I can't trust a Free Star Ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the First, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. 
Never met him directly, though. He was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. Yeah. Pardon. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. than being someone who doesn't know. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for... Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. 
Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is, a start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I serve with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy.
You are cleared to dock at the clinic, the best medical facility in the settled systems. But I still do not understand and your reasoning. And we're docking. I don't know how else I can explain it. Seems like the crimson... Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? You know, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. But just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge. She's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or... You catch my Ben nodding off. Give him a good snack for Hey, me. Chief. The man a little more the well, former than the latter. So tired what brings days. you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. We don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Hmm, sounds dangerous. I hope I can help you find her. Hmm, the name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Docs will get you right as rain in no time. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz, come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally, here we go. Oh, no matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Uh, 
I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace, what's her last name? Doolin, Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman, I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Ranger. Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy when I... Feels like I've been waiting forever. If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. Yes, what do you want? Sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Coe himself and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Say the word, and we shall be on our way.
like to hear a joke? Now, hang on a second. If it's Air pressure, just forget it. Steel. Ah. Keep working on it. You'll get there.
Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. It wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here, and leave me in peace. If you see something valuable, do not hesitate to grab it. must be valuable to have warranted such an elaborate mining operation. Fighting is so much simpler. To 
this wasn't going to get us. Where we left it? I understand this station was once quite the luxurious How place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that room.
proud to be helping the Free Star Rangers. Doga says I spend too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, Deputy. The way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Free Star Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, Deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.